During the first 23 years of his career with the U.S. Forest Service, Don Oman served on several national forests in the northern Rockies. Then, in late 1986, he became the district ranger on the Twin Falls District of the Sawtooth National Forest in southern Idaho. There, he found widespread environmental damage caused by long-term livestock grazing. In our August 2003 interview, Oman explained how he drew attention to that environmental problem. In the first year my range people and I were here, that summer of 87, we put in the first of our exclosures over, over on Trout Creek, a 300 foot uh, length of, of the stream bottom. And with the help of our specialists in soils, watershed, wildlife, and fisheries, and, and they were a big help to us. And that was really a key thing because until we started putting in these exclosures, there was no place on the district where you could compare what things could be like to what they were. And uh, that, that exclosure and, and the numerous ones to follow uh, really served to uh, show the devastation that was taking place there. Uh, and of course, back in those days, I wasn't allowed to say the word devastation or <laughs> destruction or plowed or rototilled, but that's what the case was. And, uh, Trout Creek, for instance, was just absolutely denuded. It's a creek that runs a lot of water, all from fresh springs, just a mile and a half upstream, and has Yellowstone cutthroat trout in there, one of the few populations of Yellowstone cutthroat trout in the area. And here it was being just totally denuded from bank to bank, vertical banks, no vegetation in the flats, willows all high-lined, and, and all the sprouts eaten off, no regeneration. So. Uh, these exclosures immediately began to to just show in one year the unbelievable amount of recovery. Uh, things were there, the willow was there, the, the sedges were there, the watercress was there, and immediately the stream and the surrounding flats were just filled with vegetation. So the exclosures were key to accomplishing some of the things we were able to do later because uh, <clears throat> the ranchers, uh, many of them had the attitude that and that's just how things are. I mean, it's, we're taking good care of the land. It can't be different. That's just the way it's always been. <laughs> well, it probably was the way they always saw it.